now, Central Oregon's Local Alert Weather with Max Goldwasser. Good evening and a happy Sunday to you, Central Oregon. Here are a, here's a look at our road conditions right now. It doesn't look like uh, rain has started falling anywhere across Central Oregon quite yet, but our chance for rain uh, has begun. Uh, Lapine, in fact, might even see some snow later on this evening. Uh, part of that is because we'll be feeling the effects uh, from this winter weather advisory that's in effect. We'll get to that in a second here. Calm winds right now. And the reason I'm showing you this is because it's not the same story along the northern Cascades where this winter weather advisory is in effect. That's the purple part of the screen uh, that you're looking at right there. That goes into effect tonight at 10 p.m. and lasts until tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. Looking at possible 50 mile an hour wind gusts in that area. It extends all the way up into Washington. Uh, in fact, looking at some possible whiteout conditions on the road, slippery roads. Uh, maybe the winds might even be strong enough to break some tree branches that will land on the streets that you might be driving on. So do be aware of that if you are going to be driving in that area. And the reason it's a winter weather advisory is because the possibility of between four to eight inches of snow in that area. You'll see that here on our future snowfall tracker. Mount Bachelor, in fact, on the higher end of that range there, you see topping out at eight, uh, eight and a half inches of snow. And then Tuesday night, you'll see that number increase once again with some more chances uh, for rain and snow on Tuesday night as another system uh, is making its way into Central Oregon City and pass getting close to 10 inches of snow there as well. But then I did mention the passes, so we'll take a look at them uh, in a second here. Uh, looks like not much uh, activity at the moment, maybe some slick roads in government camp. But again, uh, that's because our winter weather advisory hasn't gone into effect quite yet. We're a few hours away from that at the moment. Again, it starts at 10 p.m. tonight and lasts until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Here is a look at that system that's currently moving through uh, the state of Oregon right now moving from west to east across the state. And again, there's some chances for rain. Uh, most of us could see some rain tonight. Lapine might see some snow tomorrow, though, waking up before the hour of 10 a.m. We all have chances for rain and snow as well. Between a 20 to a 30 percent chance for most of us. Lapine, though, and Sun River have a, ch a 50 percent chance for snow before 10 a.m. Then the rest of Monday looking at just partly cloudy skies. Same goes to the for the start of your Tuesday as well before much, much heavier activity starts to make its way into Central Oregon once again from off the coast. So more chances for rain and snow Tuesday evening starting at around 5 or 6 p.m. Forecast lows for tonight fairly scattered from the low 20s to the low 30s. All of us are going to be below freezing when we hit our forecast low. Lapine, the coldest on the map there with a forecast low of 20. 22 degrees forecast highs for tomorrow uh, in the 40s for most of us. This is right around average for this time of year, maybe a couple degrees above average from a, a forecast high of just 38 degrees in Lapine. 50 in Warm Springs is where we're looking at uh, up there in Jefferson County, 47 for both Prineville and Madras, and then 43 in Bend uh, and in Sisters. Our, our temperatures aren't expected to change much throughout the week. The warmest day is going to come on Tuesday with a forecast high of 52, but I know everyone's probably Probably wondering what's the weather going to look like on Thursday? Partly cloudy skies for your Thanksgiving. That's been a look at your weather. We'll be right back.